Welcome to the first gathering around the new pond, Sunday, November 2. October 31, 2014. Beloved Family of Light. How fitting it is that it is already time for another gathering around the pond. For this Sunday, November 2 at 2100 Oslo time, we have the very first chance to sit down and connect as a group to these very new energies in this very new pond or as you put it so wonderfully, I am a star, this beautiful new clear pond world. My heart is already singing from what I see flowing forth from all of you into this wondrous pond, and I am certain that after this upcoming gathering, this flow of brilliant, loving light will only continue to multiply. My gratitude like your love knows no bounds. Here is what the CCs want to share about this gathering. Let us begin this missive by saying that to us, the miracle that has been unfolding over the last two weeks or so is simply beauteous to behold, and even if we could try, it would literally be beyond words even for the likes of us to try to describe the elation, relief and joy that your combined actions have ignited in the rest of us. For as we have told you again and again, what you do, you do for all, and as you allowed yourselves to step forth from that dank and murky chamber mankind as a collective have spent such a long time wasting away in, you also helped to set free hidden cells of light that now too can finally come out into the open. And they will do so in a truly spectacular way. Not all at once of course, for again, what needs to be done needs to be done at the exact right moment in time and in the exact right measure, so that you as the newly fledged gods and goddesses are able to literally digest it all. Remember, you have made a true quantum leap in every sense of the word, and so, many of you will still feel as if you were reeling aimlessly around in what for you might feel as extremely welcoming but also for the time being very unsettling and bewildering waters. And rightly so for you have entered at the deep end now, dear ones, and so, you can no longer keep one foot securely fastened at the bottom while trying to pretend that you can swim. For this is no longer a game of make-believe, of trying to make a good public face while paddling like mad underneath the surface to stay afloat. For in this, just like in the wild blue waters, the only way to keep afloat, is to cease to struggle and simply allow this current to sweep you along. We are aware that for many of you, it will feel as if you are being caught up in a riptide of energies, and so you are flailing in panic, choking on the waters and thinking that you are nearing the end of the road. Well, that is exactly where you are heading, for these powerful currents are doing what they can to bring you safely out of the grasp of the old. But still the familiar may hold more allure than the new, even the new world, and so, for some of you, Panic has more than likely set in at this stage. And so to you we say, allow yourself to relax into it and stop fighting your own powers, for that is truly what you are doing. So surrender to you, and you will do swimmingly if we may use such a pun to describe what is truly a beautiful emergence of your own inherent powers. And now, we turn to those of you already standing here tall, proud and resplendent in your new glittering robes of divinity. We thank you all for stepping into your old shoes once again, and now, we will simply say make sure that your laces are securely fastened, for now, you need to be able to literally hit the road running. For you have much work to do, dear ones, for again the old adage is once again the truth, this will all be done by you, not for you, so this is not the time to sit back and savor your hard-earned success. No. This is the time to take all that you have become and use that to bring everything just that much closer to completion. Remember, your task is to literally build this new world, out of an endless supply of diversified bits and pieces that will be delivered through every single one of you, in all kinds of ways and in all kinds of locations. So look upon this upcoming get-together as that very first meeting outside the prison walls, and know that even if you will be given ample time to celebrate as a group, you will also quickly need to come into doing mode. For now, being the light is simply not enough, you also have to do whatever it is that is necessary in order to fully anchor the new, and then, to place upon this secure anchorage every single energetic piece that together will constitute the brand new world. 
This is not a small task, but it is one you will savor, every single step of the way, and as you go about your tasks, the world around you will also sit up and take notice. And one by one, one single person at the time, this task force will begin to grow. Not slowly, but as a veritable explosion of light they will all begin to come forward, in from the darkest of corners and from the unlikeliest places of abode and influence. For remember, you have opened these doors to the new world for all, this is not a threshold that will hold out anyone at all, no matter what deeds or accomplishments they can tally off. This threshold is for all to cross freely at their own choice. So again we say go forth, and know that as you continue to move ever forwards, the suction you create will help to persuade some of those still lingering within that dark chamber of the old to follow in your wake. But not all of them, and this too will begin to become very clear to you all as you continue to savor the sunshine and the fresh air within you. For you too will begin to notice some missing persons just as you will begin to discover some very surprising new arrivals suddenly standing by your side. So just remember this, there will be heartbreak and pain too, for this process is not without a price. And the price that is meted out is done so according to the wishes of every single soul living and breathing on this planet. For it is up to each and every one of you whether to give yourself all the benefits of the new, or continue to pay the price for choosing to stay on in the old. Be that as it may, this upcoming Sunday, you will all be invited to help to set the course ahead for this magnificent new world that you have chosen to give birth to, and we cannot wait to welcome you all to what will be to all intents and purposes a truly grand occasion indeed. One where you will be lauded for your accomplishments, but also one where you will begin to prepare for all of the work you still have ahead. So come and join the fun, or step away and let the others standing behind you have a free passage forwards. For now, no one can stand in the way of another, nor can anyone pull someone over the threshold to the new against that other individual's will. For this is a collective event, but it is also an individual one, one that you must all choose in the very depths of your being if you want to take part in or not. Usually I always choose one of my own photos to accompany these messages, but this time, I had none that I think captures the energy of the new. But a few days ago, Cosmic Bear sent me some images he had taken during the week in Crete and the moment I saw them, I wrote back telling him I think you just mailed me the photo I want to use for the upcoming gathering. Thank you Cosmic Bear, for allowing the new world to speak to us all through the lens of your camera. There is a brand new world out there, one that we have flung the doors wide open to. It is waiting for us to make it come alive, and remember all you have to do to cross over that threshold away from the old is to look at yourself in the mirror and embrace the full truth in these words, you are love, you are loved and you are loving for in this, we are all equal, and I do hope I will see you all there. I cannot wait to celebrate with you the task we as a collective have already completed and to begin doing the work we have yet to accomplish. I thank each and every one of you from the very core of my being, for you are all true gods and goddesses, and it is such a blessing to be allowed to shine my light in such loving, living, brilliant company. With eternal gratitude, love and joy from me, Esha. The gathering is at 2100 Oslo time, you can find your local time here, www thetimezoneconverter.com. As always, you can do this whenever you feel it is best for you. All you need to do, is to sit down and connect with this energy with an intention of being a part of this gathering around the new pond.